Just because it seems like everyone around you has moved their lives to video calling, doesn't mean everyone knows what they're doing. Whether you're using a legacy app like Skype, or logging into FaceTime on your iPhone, knowing how each video application works can be a challenge in its own right. For example, let's say you jump on a Google Meet call for work, but you're still getting ready for the day, or you're in the process of moving your laptop from the kitchen to your home office. You don't need to leave the camera on for everyone to see what you're doing. Instead, Google Meet makes turning off the camera super easy. Let's start with the basics. If you're creating a meeting, you can actually disable your camera long before you start the call. Create a meeting on Google Meet, and before you join the call, just click the camera icon on your video preview, then enter the call. Once you're inside the call, you'll find that your microphone remains enabled, but your video is turned off. If you're already on a call and you need to disable your video, just look along the bottom of the screen for your meeting controls. In the center of the screen, next to the Leave Call button, is a small camera icon that allows you to toggle your camera off and on during a call. On mobile, disabling video is just as easy. When you open the app, you'll see your meeting controls along the bottom of the screen with a preview of your video at the top. Tap the video icon to enable or disable your feed. Once you're in a meeting, tap on the video portion at the top of the screen to see your call options, and tap on the camera icon to turn your feed on again. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Google Meet and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.